Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade monopod. And this pole I got it at the Latin Fest, it came with a flag. I removed the flag and I came with this idea to make a homemade monopod without spending a lot of money. First of all, you're going to need a bolt that will fit your Sony camera, sport camera. Make sure it fits properly before you install the bolt. The pole came with a hole already. So what I did, I got the bolt and I got some epoxy and I glued it, I glued it in place. Now the bolt's got to be straight, okay? Make sure you put it in a place where the bolt is going to sit straight and not tilt on you because it's going to be, it's not going to be straight if it tilts on you. Okay, I'm going to show you several items that I got here today. I got my my Samsung Galaxy S2. That's from T-Mobile. Samsung Galaxy S2. And this is the phone. This is way, what you're going to need. You're going to need to download an application. Okay, called Play Memories Mobile. Play Memory Mobile. It's called the application. You're gonna to need to download that. I got a here a small tripod and I have some grips here or handles. This is the old one. It had a, a crack in it because it's made out of, out of hard plastic so I replaced it with a new one with a new handle. This handle it's made from from Bell. I got this at Walmart for about seven dollars. You can choose any any kind you like. I chose this one today. Also, you're gonna need a flashlight. I paid about ten dollars for this flashlight at Dick's Sporting Goods store. flashlight it's right here on top of the camera this is in case you want to videotape at nighttime or some place where it's dark okay I got a strap with the uh, zip ties I use zip tie to put it together also here this is the uh, original camera, the HDR AS15 that I bought. I got this at the uh, Best Buy for a hundred, for around one hundred seventy dollars. And I got me a second one. The second one I got it at the uh, eBay for about twenty three dollars. You can get them on eBay or Amazon, wherever you like to shop. Okay. Now, the old case, I had to modify it. I drilled a hole here. I saw a couple of videos on YouTube how to drill a hole and install a, an external microphone. So now it's not wa waterproof. You cannot um, put it on the water because water will get in so therefore I had to get a second one okay folks also guys you guys gonna need a case where you can um, put your smartphone onto a tripod okay you can order them online but this one here it's homemade all I did is I drill a hole and put a knot on it. Make sure that the knot is the right size for your tripod. I put epoxy to hold it in place. Also guys, you're gonna need a, a 360 swivel mini ball head. One quarter screw. 
I paid around five dollars and thirty cents on eBay. Okay. Also, you're gonna need a handlebar mount for your bicycle and a handlebar mount for your sport camera. That's where it's gonna connect to the sport camera or it's gonna connect to your uh, smartphone like so. Alright guys now we're gonna go ahead and put everything together. What I did is I put the handlebar mount right on the handle you can put it wherever you like um, you can do make more modification and put it wherever you like I mean you can put it right over here in this section here but it don't fit but you can make some modification and make some adjustment and fit it wherever you like in this case I'm gonna go ahead and put it right on the handle here Okay. All right, folks, after uh, putting the camera together and my cell phone, this is what we came up with. This is what you're going to be able to view on your smartphone. This is the camera. The Sony Sport camera, the HDR AS15. Also, it's got a flashlight. For those dark places or dark areas or if you record it at night you should be able to see what you're recording now this case here I modify it it's not you cannot put it on the water I mean if it rained if it rained it should be okay but put in this case on the water because I drill a hole for the external microphone because when you put the, the front cap on uh, your camera is, is not able to pick up uh, a good sound quality so therefore I had to install an external microphone and I bought me a second case to put, to put underneath the water or under the water all right, guys, let's say um, you have a job where you are an inspector and you need to get to a certain place and you can't reach. Well, with this pole here, you can reach and see what you're looking at from your smartphone. You can also record with your smartphone by pressing on that red button here and you can adjust your setting from your smartphone. All right, folks, uh, whenever you're going to record with the case, whenever you're going to record with the case, you're going you're gonna to need to uh, put in a, uh, an external microphone because the sound quality is not going to be good. <clears throat> All right, guys, I, uh, I connected the microphone, the external microphone into the camera right here, and I wrapped the wire around the pole you can see wrap the wire around the pole so it doesn't so it won't be hanging all the way towards the phone now you can reach and you should be able to get good audio you should be able to get good audio quality while while you hold the pole and speak right to the microphone This is the pole here, and here's the camera. Now you should be able to get that audio quality that you're looking for. Here's the camera, you're gonna reach, let's say you are at a parade, and a six foot person gets in front of you. Now you can reach your pole up, up high, Make some adjustment and speak right through the microphone. 
you can speak right to the microphone while you're recording the parade because there's a, a six-foot person that got in front of you and you can't see. Now you, you should be able to see what's going on through your f smartphone. All right, folks, this is another test of the microphone. This is the Sony HDR AS15. This is the built-in microphone I'm using right now. And I have the front cover off so I can pick up better sound. And this is the built-in microphone from the Sony Sport camera. Testing one, two, testing one, two, testing one, two. All right, folks, now I'm testing the lapel microphone. This is a $1 microphone I got from eBay or Amazon. And this microphone for the price that I pay is very, very good. I mean, I can't complain about it. But this microphone will pick up a lot of background noise. Um, if you don't want a microphone that's going to pick up a lot of background noise, then um, this is not the one for you unless you have a uh, software where you can eliminate um, the background noise because as you can hear you should be able to hear my TV right now because I'm I have the TV going right now so there you have it folks and I'm using the uh, Sony sport camera the HDR AS 15 from Sony all right folks um, I'm recording with the Sony sport camera with the HDR AS 15 and I'm using the $1 microphone lapel microphone and we're gonna do a night test with the uh, flashlight here we go I'm gonna turn off the light now the camera's got to adjust to the to the lighting it's gonna have to adjust a little bit and I'm about seven feet from the guitar and the picture frame I'm getting closer to the picture frame and the guitar now remember that this lighting is going to be limited for what you're going to be recording um, you may not be able to record towards a, a very long distance with this light unless you get a really strong powerful light now I'm about uh, 12 feet from the wall I'm about 12 feet from the wall this is wall to wall right now I'm about 12 feet from the wall you can still see the guitar I'm getting closer Here we go. I'm about seven feet from the wall. And there you have it, folks. This is the HDR AS15 Sony Sport Cam. What's up, folks? This is my homemade monopod in action using the Sony Sport Cam, the HDR AS15. Alright folks, you're looking at the original software on the Sport Cam, the Sony HDR AS15. This is the original software. It should be at 30 frames per second.
right guys you're looking at the Sony sport cam the HDR AS15 in slow motion